guys welcome back to our channel today is sunday so just wake up guys because my body pain again last night yeah but uh hindi, hindi po pwedeng makalimutan natin si lord kasi sunday po ngayon so magbabasa po tayo ng bible guys but before that let's pray yes oh god hallelujah lord hallelujah hallelujah lord god jesus christ lord i'm here again lord just say thank you thank you lord for all the blessings that you give me lord and to all my viewers and my friends my family and my boss lord yes oh god hallelujah hallelujah lord i praise you i honor you i declare your glory lord in my life thank you lord very much sa mga lahat ng mga biyaya mo sa amin ganun din sa mga alakas na binigay mo lord para kami makapagtabaw pa yun salamat lord maraming salamat ikaw po ang maghari sa aming buhay tawarin mo kami lord Okay, wala na pong oras Panginoon pero sisikapin ko pong mabigyan ka ng oras kahit po sa ganitong paraan Panginoon salamat Lord alam mo po kung gaano kahirap ang aking sitwasyon pero hindi hindi po ako makakalimot sa iyo Lord salamat Lord give me wisdom Lord give me understanding Lord to read this Bible Lord in Jesus name in Jesus name we pray Amen Good morning guys magbasa po tayo ng Bible and then uh, I will just open this Bible uh, without looking so the first page that I I open it let's read yes and I will try to explain what is the God's word amen yes dito tayo Joshua to succeed Moses uh, 172 Deuteronomy Deut 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 30 verse 2. I'm not a pastor guys but I'm a Christian so I have wisdom to share word of God. Yes, lahat po tayo, we are all have the right to share the word of God. Amen. Yes, it's read just what to succeed Moses 31. Uh, so Moses continued to speak these words to all Israel and he said to them, I am 120 years old today. I am no longer able to go out and come in. The Lord has said to me, You shall not go over this Jordan. The Lord your God himself will go over before you. He will destroy these nations before you so that you shall dispose them. And Joseph will go over at your head at the Lord as the Lord has spoken. And the Lord will do to them as he did to Sihon and Og the kings of the Amorites and to their land when he destroyed them and the Lord will give them over to you and you shall do to them according to the whole commandment that I have commanded you be strong and courageous do not fear or be in dread of them for it is the Lord your God who goes with you he will not leave you or forsake you amen yes uh, it's very short uh, message guys but very clear very clear that even you are old no age limit about uh, following God yeah kahit matanda bata sundin natin si Lord because uh, Moses said Moses said I am 120 years old today I am one so even you are very old God still there in your life kahit sabi ni kasi matanda na si Moses but I am no longer able to go out and come in hindi na daw siya makapunta sa mga lahat-lahat ng mga bayan para ipamalita eh, ang salita ni Lord but uh, the Lord has said the Lord has said to me sinabi ni Lord sa kanya na you shall not go over this Jordan the Lord your God himself will go over before you. Si Lord yung titingin sa atin. Amen. Kaya kahit ano pa mang ba bata, matanda, walang walang pa walang dahilan para hindi natin maalala si Lord. Dahil si Lord ay nakakaalala sa ating lahat guys. Amen. Yan lang po yung aking kunting uh, i-share sa inyo. Yung pag titiwala at pagsunod sa Panginoon. Kumbaga, lahat ng tayo, sakop tayo ni Lord. All of us is covered by God. Amen. Dahil po, uh, even Moses is 120 years old. He is still uh, trusting God. He is still following God with his own with own self. Uh, sinusunod niya si Lord dahil 
nasa kahit nasa bahay lang siya siya yung nagbibigay ng si Lord ang nagbibigay ng wisdom sa kanya para i-share sa mga tao kung ano ang dapat gagawin amen yan yan lang po yung aking i-share na even you are old or even you are very young you can share the word of God even you are in the house even you are in the room you cannot go church you can still share the word of God by doing this thing yes kung wala mang manunood, maraming internet, maraming social media, pwede ta kayong magbahagi ng mga salita ni Lord. Ibig sabihin, sumunod lang kayo doon sa sinabi ni Lord. Ibahagi niyo ang salita niya sa mga tao. Ayan lang po yung aking paniniwala, guys. That was my belief that sharing word of God is more than, more than, more than good for us. Even though we are busy, we have, we, even though we are doing our things every day, but try to share as even a short message from God. Yes, because God is always looking us. Yes. God even we are very tired even we are die God is still there. God is still looking with us. Amen. Kaya bakit natin siya makakalimutan sa saglit na paraan sa sa maraming dahilan? Hindi natin pwedeng gawin 'yan, guys. We cannot do that. We cannot forget God in our life, every day, every moment, we must thankful God that God is still here, God is still watching me, still helping me, still giving me strength, yes, because uh, according to to the, the Bible, according to her, His words, he, he will come with us, if we cannot come to Him, He will come to us, ibig sabihin, Siya yung pupunta sa atin, hindi lang natin namamalay na andyan na pala si Lord tinatouch na pala tayo or uh, pinaparimind tayo or panahon na para gawin mo ito panahon na para mag manalangin ka magtiwala ka kay Lord yan, amen napapansin nyo ba guys minsan sa ating buhay marami tayong suliranin tapos pag naalala natin wala nang ibang makakatulong sa atin bakit kaya? bakit kaya natin sasabihin walang ibang makakatulong? Kung bag, in, the, in the first place guys kapag may problema kayo huwag kayong lumapit sa ibang tao lumapit kay kay Lord kaya yan yung aking ina-apply sa sarili ko kapag mayroon akong problema hindi po ako nagsusumbong nagsusumbong ako kay Lord unang una kong sinasabihan si Lord Lord tulungan mo ako nahirapan po ako yan po yung aking meron akong trust kay Lord dahil alam ko si Lord lang po yung makaka lutas sa aking mga problema kaya bakit ako magsasabi sa ibang tao? Yung ibang tao, ichichismis ka lang yan. Si Lord, never kang ichismis. Siya lang yung nakakaalam. Yan. Siya lang yung nakakaalam na yan. Lahat ng ating sinasabi, lahat ng laman ng ating puso, si Lord lang po talaga ang nakakaalam. Kaya, kapag kayo may problema guys, huwag kayo magsumbong sa ibang tao. Unang-una niyong isumbong, isumbongan si Lord. Yes. Di ba iba yung nagsusumbong kay Tulpo? bakit <laughs> okay po yan magsusumbong kay Tolpo pero unang una talaga first dapat nyo maisip si Lord yung sasabihan nyo para si Lord yung magbibigay sa atin ng wisdom ng paraan para masolve yung mga problema natin amen yes amen talagang totoo po yan guys unang una nyo gawin kapag meron kayong dinadala meron kayong naramdaman sa buhay meron kayong hinanakit sa inyong mga puso if you have heart pains failures in life, just talk to God. Very, very holy talking to God. Hindi po yung basta-basta ka na lang. Kung baga, intimate yung pakikipag-usap natin sa Kanya. Hindi po yung basta-basta na lang na nandiyan ka lang mag-pray ka, pero yung utak mo hindi. Yan. Yan yung sinasabi ko na faith. True faith. True faith can move mountain, guys. Kahit anong kasalanan mo nang nagawa mo, kapag nag nagtiwala ka kay Lord, ay mapapawi ang lahat na yan. Kaya, yan po yung laging iniisip ko, Lord, help me. Kasi alam mo yung sitwasyon ko, napakahirap. Pero, still God guide me. Still God love me. Give me strength. Kapag nagugutom ako, pinapakain niya ako. Hindi man sa physical na paraan, pero sa spiritual na paraan. Amen. Yes, guys. Thank you. That's all only because today is Sunday. Today is Sunday is my holy day for God. In the Philippines, if I go there every Sunday, I will spend my time to the Lord. 
kasi siya po yung nagbigay sa akin ng life. Siya po yung nagbigay sa akin ng blessings. Siya po nagbigay sa akin ng hope na from the start, nawalan po ako ng hope nung nag-abroad ako nung una na wala po talaga nangyari. Pero, praise God, dahil binago niya po ako, binigyan niya po ako ng self-confidence again. And, He always watching me. I know, God loves me always. In my heart, God is in my heart. You try to put God in your heart, guys. So, every day, every time you are feeling sad, God will cheer you. God will make you strong. Amen? Thank you. Have a nice day. Happy Sunday to all of us. And I know some of you are thinking, this lady is a shame. This lady is a showing anything. But God only know what's in my heart. So, must keep on our faith. Amen. Thank you. Have a nice day. Salamat po. Shout out sa lahat ng nanonood. Thank you very much to all my viewers out there. And God bless you all. Have a nice day. Happy Sunday. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your uh, worship today. Bye.